Hey beautiful, I hope you are keeping safe and well. Welcome to my YouTube channel. For those who I haven't met before, I'm Emma Ryder, Psychic Medium and Divine Channeler and this is the Leo reading. Please bear in mind that as a rule, all of my readings are timeless and you'll find the guidance that is right for you when you need to hear it. Whether that is today, next week, next month, trust in divine timing. You will find it at your perfect time. Okay, so to begin with, I'm going to use the Soul Journey lesson cards. Then we're going to go with the Lightseer Tarot deck. And for the extended, I feel like we're going Troubadour Tarot. But we'll play that bit by ear as we get there. Okay, beautiful. So before I even pick cards, I'll have to tell you what I'm seeing, what they're showing me. But there's... There's a film company because it's at the beginning of a film where there's like a lion and it's roaring and moves its head around and it's like in a gold circle. Somebody needs to know this. Um, and it feels like that roaring strength is what I feel from that image. It feels like the strength of the lion. Quite apt for the Leo, isn't it? Um, is being seen is being heard it feels like you are showing your strength and it's about time okay so remember you are stronger than you give yourself credit for you have a lot of inner strength there and you can and you will okay um the actual realisation that you're strong enough to do anything you put your mind to may well just give you that push to make it happen. And I do feel there's a roaring strength. So there's maybe some roaring, maybe not literally roaring and shouting. But there's maybe something that needs voicing. There's something that needs said, which will show your strength and begin the changes that you're needing to make. You are strong enough and you can do it. You will do it. Okay. And your soul journey lesson card is gratitude. I am thankful for this life and the opportunities that it presents. And I feel that your gratitude comes as you realise that you're strong enough to go after those opportunities. Because for some time, you've not been feeling very grateful. You've maybe had a, it's maybe, you've maybe been in a bit of struggle and everything's just not felt very flowing like it needed to be. And I feel like this strength you have within you, which starts making those changes, you're actually grateful as the changes start to be made. But you've got to make those changes to get into a place where you are grateful for life instead of just settling for life. But I also feel that you're probably feeling grateful for the lessons you have learned in your current struggle. And then we've got the service card and guilt, okay? I actually feel the changes you've got to make, you've got to stop being of service to everybody all of the time. It's good to help, it's good to be there for others, but not when it makes you feel guilty and stops you doing what you need to do for you which is what I feel has been happening. The guilt of not making somebody happy or the guilt of change which affects somebody else has been stopping you in your tracks. So, it's time to pull on that lion strength. Roar and make the change. You are strong enough. Okay. Let's have a look at the light seer for more information. The 
the world. When you make the changes, you're going to feel on top of the world because you're going to stop feeling stuck. The stuckness, I feel like, is getting to you. You've been stuck for too long. You've been stuck for long enough. So now you've got to make that change with the strength, with that fire within your belly, with the determination. And you will feel gratitude. You will feel on top of the world. I feel like you will feel relieved. I feel what's been weighing you down will lift you up. You've got to let it go. You've got to make the change. Then we've got the devil card. I don't feel it's the devil. I feel it's a new beginning. And this person is reaching out. I feel that there's somebody stood there with an opportunity, with an offer, okay? Well, I feel like that's probably love, but it could be work-wise as well. Maybe a bit of both. I feel like this opportunity, this offering, maybe an opportunity and an offer, which are separate, is waiting for you. As soon as you have drawn on that strength and made the change, you've got to make the change and you can, you will. Okay. <laughs> then we've got the page of wands. I want to say it's took you long enough. It's maybe taken a little longer than you wanted, but you can still jump for joy. You got there in the end. You've made the change. Be proud of yourself. Know that it's okay to go through this transitioning time and maybe not feel the best, but this is a transition. You're changing into that next energy where you're going to feel relieved, where you're going to jump for joy, where you're going to feel on top of the world. You have to go through the middle transition to get to that point. I feel like you're probably in that transition. <sighs> Pull on the strength within your heart. You can do it. Okay, beautiful. I'm going to head over to the extended reading now to find out more information and clarification of this situation, but also more of what is on offer. What is coming for you? Because I feel it's like, I feel there's more than one opportunity or offer. Okay, so if this is where you leave me, then thank you so very much for joining me. As always, it is a pleasure. I'm truly grateful to be able to support you on your journey. Please do me a massive favour and like and comment on the video. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. I'm truly grateful for each and every single person supporting the channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Take care, stay safe, and I look forward to seeing you very, very soon. Namaste. Bye.